Hi and welcome. In this tutorial, I am going to discuss about the multiplexing technique for a 7 segment display. First I want to mention here that if you want to know the basics of a 7 segment display then go to the electronics devices playlist and watch this tutorial first. If we consider the very straightforward method then we need to use the separate data port for each segment. You can see for this segment, I am mentioning here that I need a different data port which is named here from A0 to A6 and for this segment, I need a different data port which is marked here from B0 to B6. If the segment is of common cathode type, then all the common pins will be connected to ground. Otherwise, if it is a common anode type, then all the common pins will be connected to VCC. In this configuration, we need four separate data ports for four seven segment displays and if a single segment requires eight pins then we need to waste 32 pins only to interface four seven segments now consider an application where we are using a microcontroller with limited pins then we can't connect four seven segment displays to that type of microcontroller now the solution is the multiplexing technique of 7 segment. First of all what is multiplexing? Actually it is a time division multiplexing. The data pins of all the 7 segments will be connected to a single port and you can see here the first segment is connected to a port which is marked here from D0 to D6 and all other 3 segments are connected to the same data port. D0 to D6. In multiplexing, we need to control each segment individually for a specific amount of time and for this we need to provide the common pin of each segment to a separate pin of a microcontroller. Here I am showing this switching pin S1 for this segment 1, S2 for this segment and S3 for this third and S4 for this fourth segment. Only a one segment will be activated at a time. We will put the data on the port and that activated seven segment will display the data. Then we will turn off that seven segment and turn on the next seven segment with the help of these switching pins. In between the switching from one segment to other segment, we will provide a very small delay so that the data will stay on the 7 segment for a fraction of time and we can observe that display data on the 7 segment. This concept will be more clear if I consider the connection of multiplexed 7 segment display with a microcontroller. You can see I have again 4 common cathode 7 segments connected to a same port of a microcontroller marked with 0.0, .0 to 0.6 and all these numbers are same for the seven segments and for switching the segments for multiplexing technique I am using four different pins of a microcontroller. The switching speed of the seven segments will be quite high and we will not observe any flickering effect during the display of a value. Now we can easily understand how many pins are required to interface four seven segments in multiplexing configuration. First of all, the data pins are common for all the segments, so we need 7 or 8 data pins, 4 switching lines for 4 segments. So in this way, we are just consuming 12 pins of a microcontroller to interface 4 segments. If we want to add one more segment, then it will only consume one extra switching line. So if I consider only two ports of a microcontroller with 8-8 eight, eight pins then I can easily interface 8 7 segments with the help of two 8-bit ports of a microcontroller. So this multiplexing technique will greatly reduce the number of pins required to interface the 7 segment. So thanks for watching and subscribe the channel.